Good day to you from here in Jerusalem. President Biden arriving in the Middle East and he's facing pressure at home about skyrocketing gas prices. Energy security will be on the table for the second half of his trip when he arrives in Saudi Arabia later this week. But here in Israel, he is visiting the Holocaust Memorial Yad Vashem and he will meet with the interim prime minister as well as the former prime minister Benjamin Netanyahu. And of course, topping the agenda will be Iran's nuclear program, its ambitions. The U.S. has had tension with Israel over the 2015 nuclear deal that President Biden has tried to restart right now. The U.S. also has real concerns about Iran looking to supply Russia with armed drones that it can use in its war against Ukraine. A little bit later in his visit, when he gets to Saudi Arabia, the president will become the first U.S. president to travel between Israel and Saudi. And when he's there, he's going to meet with the Saudi king, as well as Crown Prince Mohammed bin Salman. Of course, the U.S. blames the Crown Prince for the death of Jamal Khashoggi, the Washington Post journalist who was killed. The president, who said as a candidate that he would make Saudi Arabia a pariah, is now looking for a reset of sorts and hoping that the Saudis perhaps can give the U.S. a little bit of oil relief. Peter Alexander, NBC News, Jerusalem.